Let's talk about data, files, and information. Let's start by defining some words. First one is data. It is the raw facts and figures that, that we input in the computer. The description of the data is metadata. The process data is information. And when analysis and interpretation is being applied to the information, it is called knowledge. Data that was converted to information can be presented as data in context, which is a tabular form, and summarized data in a form of reports and analytics. The image shows that the detailed data and information coming from the customer and suppliers flows horizontally across operational units of the organization. These transactional data will be summarized to support operations and other activities of the middle management. This data flow vertically upward. The data go to the top management as a knowledge in the form of reports and analytics. And then the top management will use this knowledge to create policies and strategies which are in line with the corporate goals that will be used by the middle management for daily operations. The accounting information system saves the operational or transactional data to complete the transaction to be able to make follow-ups with the customers or vendors to create reports and to provide the feedbacks and perform analysis. Accounting information system only saves the useful information which characterized by the following. It should be essential or relevant. It must have no irrelevant materials or data. It should be concise. It contains all of the facts. It should be complete. It should be accurate, verifiable, consistent, meaning reliable. It must be based on organizational standards and format, understandable. It must be available at reasonable cost, cost effective, and last, it should be available if needed any time. So it is current and unique. Files and data. The hierarchy of data starts with a bit. A bit is the smallest unit. The value of a bit is a 0 or 1. It means on or off. Next will be a byte, which is composed of 8 bits or 1 character. As an example, what we did here is we added all the values that is turned on. That is 2 plus 4. So the sum of 2 and 64 is 66, so character is B. For further reading, you may visit www.csgnetwork.com slash set html. After byte, the next to the hierarchy will be a field. This is the collection of byte or character. A student number is a field. An example value of a student number is a collection of character such as 2001-00516TG. After the field, the collection of field will be record. The collection of record is a file or table. And the collection of file and table is what we call database. The collection of database is a data warehouse. This is the interconnection of databases coming from various information systems. File format or data type depends on the database technology that the system developer wanted to use. However, these are the common types of data. We have here varchar, 
text, medium text, long text, memo. These are used if the field value is type string. The length of varchar and text when it comes to Microsoft Access is 255 digit, meaning it will only accept a maximum of 255 characters. In MySQL, text, medium text, and long text ranges from 64 KB to 4 GB. The memo in Access is up to 65 KB. Next is for numeric use, number, integer, and big integer. Currency is for monetary value. Yes or no or boolean. This field value is either yes or no or true or false. And then date time. If you want to see other types of data, you can visit these links for Microsoft, MySQL, and for Oracle. There are several types of files. The file that contains descriptive data about the collection of records pertaining to all primary or main subjects of the information system is called the master file. It also holds the summative information such as periodic total sales and amount due. The transactional file, also known as movement file, holds the collection of transactional records prior to the updating of the master file. The reference file contains records that remains stagnant for a certain period such as client files, product list, phone number, and others. These files are files that do not need to be accessed regularly but must be available in times that the user needs it. The extensive collection of archives, records, and information is known to be the historical files to serve as a safety measure when the original file was damaged, corrupt, or lost. There is a backup file which is basically the copy of the other types of files. These files can be accessed in two ways. The sequential access that requires the user to read through the file from start or beginning of the order that it was stored and the random access method in which users can directly access the information or file from the specific memory location. The access data that are ready for processing can be processed by several modes. However, these two are the common. The first one is a batch processing that processes the previously collected jobs in a single batch, which simply means that large volume of data are processed all at once. And the second one is online or real-time processing, also known to be the reaction processing of data because processing of data takes place at the time that the task occurred. This guarantees that the reaction of data will be within the tight real-time deadline. 